Dimitri, dude, what did I tell you? I told you to have my Adidas tracksuit here on time for this video. Why ain't it here? I'm gonna dock your pay 100 ruples for this. All right. Gosh, some people, the nerve. <laughs> All right, I was just giving Dimitri a hard time there in the intro. Welcome back, everybody. Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888, taking a look at a real special piece of hardware. I have really been excited about this one. And uh, this is a Kalashnikov USA KP9. This is a semi-auto uh, version, essentially, of the Vityaz, or Vit Vityaz, Vityaz uh, machine gun from Russia. Uh, they're nine millimeter, you know, PDW type of uh, arrangement. And of course they're in machine gun form over in Russia, but this is a semi-auto version. And uh, it is a blowback. It's uh, patterned after very famous AK design that many of us are used to seeing. Uh, it's got a lot of really cool features. I love the hinged top cover. Really cool stuff. We are going to get into this gun a bit. This particular gun uh, came by way of our friends at GunZoneDeals.com. They've got tons of really cool stuff. We have added a few accessories that we'll talk about a little bit. Uh, before we get too far on today's video, I do want to mention as well that GunZone Deals is running one heck of an awesome giveaway right now. Make sure you go over and sign up. Uh, it's free to sign up. It's really no big deal. Of course, all you know federal and state rules apply and everything like that, but go over there and check it out. They're giving away a Strybog uh, SP9A3 with 2,000 rounds of ammo. I mean, hey, <laughs> I'd, I'd be happy to have the ammo right now. I mean, the Strybog's nice, but the ammo is the real uh, uh, icing on the cake there in that particular situation. But make sure you're following us on Facebook and Instagram and all of our social media outlets. Go over and follow us on Twitter. We're on Parlor. We're also on the Jump app. Uh, we post all kind of random stuff on our um, social media accounts. So make sure you're following us over there so you get the full scoop of what, what's going on and everything like that. All right, so we'll get back into this a bit. It is threaded half by 28. We're wearing a Silencer Co. Omega 9K uh, suppressor. Uh, these pistols ship with one magazine, and luckily I was able to procure some extra magazines. It does take a proprietary magazine as you can see, uh, it doesn't take Scorpion mags. Initially when I saw these, I thought, oh cool, it took Scorpion mags, because I looked at it from a distance, and then when I closer inspection, I'm like, okay, well, it's a proprietary mag, but to be fair, these are metal line mags, they are very robust magazines. Uh, they remind me of kind of like a Russian Glock mag. No, it doesn't take Glock mags. I know people are going to be giving me crap about that. All the ammo that we have loaded up here is 150 grain Federal Syntec ammunition. This stuff is absolutely stellar for suppressed shooting. It sounds so nice. With this gun being a blowback, I thought it was going to be a little bit more pitchy, but it really wasn't. It's not a pitchy gun at all. It sounds really nice. It's got a, lot, a nice low tone. You know, even with the limited amount of volume from the Omega 9K, there are suppressors for 9mm that are a little bit quieter than the Omega 9K. But the cool thing about the way that the sight height on this is, is just about any can you put on this thing, you could put a big old huge suppressor on this thing and have plenty of space for the iron sights to clear over the top of the suppressor because of how high the sights are over the bore axis. So that's cool. And uh, man, so the way they did this is by having a specially designed magazine adapter uh, that's you know riveted in here and everything, just like you would expect on AK construction. Uh, it is polymer. But your mag adapter, it's not unlike uh, something like a Vepr 12 would be, where you've got a specialized mag adapter uh, fitted to the bottom of the receiver. The throw of the bolt is relatively long. Uh, it does travel a pretty good distance past the ejector, uh, similar to the AKV. You guys may uh, remember the AKV and the MAC bracket that was added to help deal with uh, cases getting stuck back there. Uh, so we'll see as we uh, shoot this today if we have an issue like that. Another um, accessory that Kalashnikov USA makes that's really cool is their magazine coupler. And you can actually couple two magazines together. That's really convenient. 30 rounds of 9mm, and, and obviously it's chambered in 9mm. 
I want to show you also, here's the uh, brake that comes on the gun from the factory. Uh, there is a plunger on here that you can actually um, compress and rotate this off. But when you put it back on, it keys back on in place. You can see the little key cut for the plunger, just like any other type of uh, AK uh, muzzle device. All right, we'll talk a little bit as we go. I'm going to load up another magazine here, do a little bit more shooting. All right, good stuff. Wow, this is nice. I will say the trigger is a little heavy, and it does have that typical two-stage, you know, long travel type of AK trigger that you can expect. But um, it's nice and crisp, although being a little long and stagey. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, very nice. It does uh, utilize the same type of magazine release as you would expect uh, on a standard AK with a paddle right there. Very easy to get to. I love the uh, large Molot style grip that's on there. Very, very nice. Uh, one interesting feature that I feel like they went through a heck of a lot of effort to get right on this gun is the folding mechanism. So it actually still utilizes the same exact style of folding mechanism that you would find in the real deal Russian machine gun. And the brace design that they went with actually uses the same type of hinge lock uh, to lock the brace shut, just like you would on a real crank. So you've got the hinge top cover with the built-in pick rail. You've got the uh, folding brace with the uh, proper you know, adapter and everything, which is really cool. They really went through a lot of effort uh, to get the aesthetics of this gun exactly right uh, while kind of giving a bit of a nod to what a lot of American shooters want out of a gun like this. Obviously the half by 28 threading is important. It seems to suppress really well and the top cover being um, you know hinged and having the, uh, the flat top rail on there is really handy. All right, so this optic, we've already done a dedicated video on the SLX uh, MD25. This is a primary arms ACSS CQB reticle. All right, now we're only shooting out to like 80 yards here, but with nine millimeter and a 25 yard zero, this optic will actually get you out to 200 yards with standard pressure nine millimeter ammo. So it actually has a Chevron in there and some really cool um, you know, ballistic capabilities with a variety, wide variety of different cartridges. So it's cool because it's a red dot with a BDC in it. I mean, how neat is that? That's definitely not something you see every day. All right, two mags down. Tell you what, let's, let's go for a double here. Uh, one thing I want to mention, the safety, um, you know, it is still fairly new. The safety is pretty stiff, so it's definitely going to stay on. And you can cheat the bolt back and check your chamber, uh, you know, your chamber check if you want, which is nice. And uh, another thing that I want to mention is there is no last round bolt hold open, just like a standard AK you would expect. And there's no type of manual bolt hold open uh, device. Now you could modify your safety lever and put a notch in there like you've seen a lot of people do so then you could cheat the bolt back and then pull up and lock the bolt to the rear if you wanted to uh, that's just a suggestion it's a really easy modification to just do yourself uh, i've seen a lot of people do that so it is it is straight ak so there, there's not a lot of, of refinements over what you would expect out of an ak which uh strangely is, is kind of what makes it so charming all right all right, let's try the double and see if we get any kind of like odd, uh, I don't think we'll have ejection issues. That mag sits there just right. All right, let's have some fun. Yes.
<laughs> That's cool. Quick mag change. All right. Wow. I have to say, this thing suppresses so nice. For a blowback, I would have expected it to be a little bit pitchier. I'm not sure the overall intention of these is to be suppressed more than, than just being like a sporting bullet for, for Federal, but these things do suppress quite nicely. Um, it is a heavy for caliber bullet weight, uh, being a 150, and they're moving at exactly the right speed for a PCC to be nice and quiet with a can on it. And this is not even an extremely high volume suppressor. So I'm very impressed with that. The only thing about it that I'm not a big fan of, the trigger, the trigger does leave a bit to be desired. Uh, I think a nice upgrade for this would be maybe a nice ALG trigger uh, from Geisley. You know, their AK trigger would be a nice, uh, a nice addition to this. Of course, your uh, fore-end is completely compatible with any type of uh, AK fore-end you want, so you could always add Magpul furniture to this if you want. You could add your Magpul grip stick or your US palm grip stick, whatever you want, so you still get complete compatibility with AK furniture, which is real nice. The front sight post looks like standard AK in terms of adjustment, and if you want to change out the sights, you could do that. That rear sight is cool, how it's suggested in uh, you know 20 meters or whatever there. That might actually go out to that might be 200 meters there on the 2-0, but I don't know. I, I wouldn't think that you would try to adjust, you know, oh, five yards, 10 yards. I, I think that's gonna be definitely uh, in meters there. So the rear side is adjusted out to two, 200, I feel a very optimistic 200 meters, but really nice. They did a great job on this gun. Really, really cool. All right, I'm gonna have a little bit more fun here. Running like a top here today. This thing is just doing great. Look, I'm going to put a few of these rounds over here in the dirt just so you can hear how quiet they are, all right? Uh, I've got like a little berm over here. I'm going to let's... Yeah, for a blowback, that's freaking quiet. All right, how about a couple down in the dirt downrange? Not bad. For a blowback, I'm, I'm very impressed at how quiet this is, especially with this particular can. <laughs> I'm getting a couple of shots that look like they're stringing a little high occasionally. Some of my misses are like barely right over the top of the plate. That's 35 yards away, and I'm, I'm not shooting slow, and I'm, I'm wrapping them right in the head of that target, that, that shoot steel D28 down there. It's about 35, 40 yards away. Wow, man, this thing in full auto, this sucker would be so controllable. Oh, man, such a smooth shooting gun. Heck yeah. All right, I got one mag left. Uh, I will say, the gun comes with one magazine. I, I would like to see maybe at least a pair of magazines uh, go out with this gun, but I know they are a little bit on the pricey side. This definitely represents the upper tier of pistol caliber carbines. They are affordable. They are cool. They're going to be a good bit more money than like an AKV would sell for uh, from Palmetto State, but I'm really digging this a lot. Um, the mags are relatively pricey. Uh, I went on um, Kalishnikov USA's website and I checked, and I think they're running like a little sale. I think like 135 bucks for four mags. So they're kind of right in line with what you would expect out of a, a kind of quirky um, proprietary type of mag, like the SIG MPX mags. Those things are ridiculous expensive. And I noticed the BNT mags are pretty expensive as well. One thing I will say is that for what these mags cost, they are metal line, they are very high quality. Okay, really cool stuff. Um, it's not the most expensive mag, it's not the cheapest mag, but it does take proprietary mags. So 
one potential downfall could be that pretty much if you own a pile of these mags, it's only for this gun. There's not going to be a lot of cross compatibility. Nobody makes an AR lower that takes these. Know what I mean? So it's a little limited. However, in typical Russian fashion, though, it works. Okay. You know, you can say what you want about the AK, but like an AK-47, AK-74, you know, some shotguns like the Vepr and the Origin run pretty well. So they do take special mags generally across the entire platform of a family of guns, but they work. So take that for what you will. No, it doesn't take lot mags, but yes, they work as you can see. All right, last mag. And you know, I, I feel like a Russian drug lord with this gun. I don't know why. I just, I just, I feel like I need my Adidas track suit and my, uh, my big old, you know, giant handle of vodka. And I just feel like I just need to go shoot bears or something. I don't know what I'm doing. All right. <clears throat> All right. Last mag. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you go over and check out our man cans. we got some great boxes for sale that we put together just for you guys. If you love this channel and you wish to support us, those are the most direct ways you can do so is by purchasing a man can. You can donate a few bucks on Patreon if you wish, or you can go over to Ballistic Inc. and pick yourself up a snazzy new t-shirt. All those funds go right back into supporting the channel. We are going to test this gun with some more defensive ammunition in a future video. As you guys can imagine, um, you know, COVID stuff has put a real pinch on certain types of ammo and the defensive ammunition has been very difficult to locate. So I apologize for that. Normally we like to include some defensive ammo in these videos. We will get to that in a future installment. So thank you so much. Have a great day and go over to our Facebook page. Make sure you sign up for the giveaway. Guns on deals. I mean, you know, the Strybog SP9A3 uh, with 2000 rounds of ammo. Definitely a great giveaway to get in on. Thanks, guys. See you next time. And again, make sure you're following us on all the social media outlets. Uh, as you can see, you know, a little bit of a peek under the hood and the stuff that we got going on. Have a good one.